Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about finding slope from an equation. We're finding the slope of each line. So if I was given this equation, x minus y equals a negative 2. Well, I need to isolate the y, get y by itself. So to do that, I first need to subtract an x to both sides. So subtract an x to both sides. x is limited on the left, give me a negative y on the left, and then a negative x right here, minus 2 on the right. Let's put the negative x first. And they're not like terms, cannot combine them. So now I need to get rid of that negative, because y is not officially isolated. So to do that, I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. When I multiply both sides by negative 1, I'll get y by itself to the left, is what I'm looking for. Now let's distribute that negative 1 across to both parts. Negative 1 times negative x is a positive x, and minus 2 times a negative 1 is the same thing as plus a 2. So now we have our slope-intercept form, y equals x plus 2, y equals mx plus 2. Now, don't miss it, m is what's in front of x, that's just a 1. So there's an imaginary 1 in front of x there, so we have m equals a 1 as our final answer. So let's recap. We're given x minus y equals negative 2, and then you get y by itself. So I subtract the x of both sides, giving me a negative y here on the left is equal to negative x minus 2 on the right. I then still need to isolate y, so I multiply both sides by negative 1, eliminate that negative there on the left, give me a positive y on the right, uh, left, and then when I multiply negative 1 on both sides, I need to distribute to both parts here. So negative 1 times negative x is a positive x, and negative two, or minus 2 times negative 1 is a plus 2. So we have y equals x plus 2, and that's in our slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b, and so our m values is a coefficient in front of x. And this is tricky. When there's nothing written there, we know as soon as just, there's just one x value. So our m value here is just 1, and that is our slope and our final answer.